You have the Samsung Galaxy S22, looks like this, make sure we're talking about the same phone, and you're wondering if you can make it run a little bit faster. The answer is yes, there are two ways to do it. So I'll show you those two ways. One is uh, already inside the phone. A second, we have to go into something called developer options. It will feel a little intimidating because we are in the guts of the software of the phone, but I'll show you how to do it safely. And then I'll show you, if you don't like the changes we make, I'll show you how to undo them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to compare, this is a S22 Ultra, this is the S22, and we'll compare them side by side after I make the changes and you can see for yourself whether or not you feel like this one runs faster. All right, let's get started with the easy one first. The easy one you might already be aware of, it's called Device Care. Oh, let me back all the way out and start over so you can see. All right, so go into Settings and you're going to look for Device Care right here. Touch Device Care. It automatically cleans out junk files, helps your phone run faster. All you have to do is push Optimize Now, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to do all these things on the list here for you, and your phone is going to run faster, better, and more efficient. There's two more parts to this where you can clear out some storage if, you're, if you've got a ton of videos or a ton of pictures. You can touch Storage, and you can clear out your trash. So let's clear out the trash here. Uh, let's clear out gallery because we've got some old videos and old photos that we need to take out or delete and hit edit. We're going to select all and we're going to delete all. It's that easy. Delete. Okay, and one more thing while we're inside device care. You can free up some RAM, your onboard memory, by just clicking this one and then t pushing clean now. And it's going to close, uh, like I don't need my contacts open, I don't need Samsung text-to-speech open right now. So it's going to clear these things up for us. And this is something that you can do every day, if, especially if you're a heavy phone user, do it every day, do it once a week. All right, that's the first one, that's number one. Let's go to number two. Number two is going to feel a little intimidating, but stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. We're going to go inside settings, go to about phone, and you're going to look for software information right here. Inside software information, I want you to scroll all the way down to build number right here. This is what we want, build number. And all we're going to do is we're going to touch it seven times, just in the space. One, two, three, and you're going to start to see this message. Four, five, six, seven. Developer mode has been turned on. So let's back out, back out, and now underneath about phone, watch what pops up for us. Developer options. So let's touch developer options now. And let's go over the warning real quick. So developer options, when you turn it on, by default is on. So let's turn it off, turn it back on so we can read this together. Allow development settings. These settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the applications on it to break or misbehave. All right, we go over the warning because we don't want to accidentally touch things inside here. If you accidentally touch things inside here, it's not a big deal. Just push cancel or just come back to the top and push off and it will put everything back to default. All right, so what we're looking for to make the phone feel like it's running faster and actually run faster, we're looking, see how that says networking right there? We're looking for the heading called drawing. Oh, did I pass it? No, nope. see how it's, there it is. There's drawing. This is what we want right here, drawing. Let me get this close so we can read together. So we want to change these three settings right here. Windows animation scale, transition animation scale, animated duration scale. The default is 1x. Some people say put it on 0.5. And you can try that if you want to, but I like my devices to run with the animations, all of them off. Transition animation, off, and then the last one, animator duration scale, off. Now watch this. All we have to do, let's get out and let's go to home. Now watch this. I'm going to bring up, let's see, where are we in this phone? I'm going to bring up the dialer, and you watch with your own eyes, and you tell me if the S22 runs faster than the Ultra. Here we go, dialer. Close the dialer. One more time, open the dialer. Close the dialer. What are you seeing? You're seeing this blink on, blink off, and you're seeing this animation, open, animation, close. Let's do another one. Let's do messenger. Oh, 
bumping everything. Let's close Messenger. Open Messenger one more time. Boop. Close Messenger. Blink on, blink off. Animate takes time. Animate takes time. Let's do one more. Let me see. Where did I put? Where did I put the camera on this guy? Camera, camera. Are you ready? Close camera. Open camera. Close camera. It's faster. If you're a person who is switching back and forth between apps, make a phone call, message, upload a video back to another app, your phone is going to feel snappier, quicker, and faster for sure. You saw with your own eyes. All right. If you make those changes and you like how your S22 runs now, and you can make this change on any Samsung or actually any Android device, uh, leave in the comments that you like how your phone runs. Now, if you don't like how it runs, let's change it all back. So let's go back into settings. And on my phone, it's already open. But let's say that you clo let's say you backed out, and you need to find it again. So let's go to settings. It's all the way at the bottom of settings, underneath about phone developer options. And all you have to do is turn them off, and everything reverts back to uh, how it was before. And we, if you want to check to see it's the default 1x again automatically, let's go find drawing. There's input. There's drawing. And you can see that it's reverted back all of those to 1x, 1x, 1x. And then when you turn the developer options off here, it no longer shows up as an option inside your settings. Now at the bottom of About Phone, it's not there. You have to turn it back on the way that we did at the beginning of the video. All right, that's the lesson. That's how to make your S22, two ways to make your S22 run faster for you, feel like it runs faster, and actually run faster. Hey, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.